is a kit for AM generation and detection. So there are many blocks on this kit. First one is power supply. Second is sine wave generator. This is the carrier wave generator. Sine wave we are going to set at certain frequency and measure it on DSO. So here we are, set, we are going to set amplitude and frequency. So here we are going to set amplitude 2 volts peak to peak. So this is frequency and amplitude of the modulating signal. Now we are going to set it for the carrier signal. <laughs> carrier signal amplitude we are set three. Frequency is 455 kilohertz, approximately that's 460 or something. So we have generated the carrier modulating signal. Now we are going to apply this modulating signal to the modulator, the balance modulator. Now we are going to apply the carrier signal to the modulator. So we are, here we have applied the carrier. Carrier and modulating signal to the modulator. The output of modulator we are going to get the amplitude modulated wave. The amplitude of carrier signal is varied in accordance with the amplitude variations of the modulating signal. The observed in DSO. carrier signal how it is varied the is varied this is the envelope so this was the time domain analysis using digital storage oscilloscope now we are going to do the frequency domain analysis on spectrum analyzer So this is a spectrum analyzer and we are going to do the frequency of analysis on the same signal on spectrum analyzer. So there are first basic settings that we have to set over here. This is the image control panel. So once we on, turn it on, we want to set the frequency to 455 kilohertz. So you can see here 455 and there is option of different frequency ranges we are getting. So we are going to select kilohertz. So the 455 kilohertz is selected. So here we have set the center frequency to 455 kilohertz. Now we are going to set the span to 100 kilohertz. And then we are going to set kilohertz. Kilohertz span. So it's all set now to observe the spectrum of AM. So we have successfully generated AM wave over here. So we are going to apply it to the spectrum analyzer. Of the AM spectrum using the same circuit and kit. So here we get the spectrum of AM. Here we can see we get the two sidebands and one carrier that is the center frequency. Carrier frequency. Now we are going to 
verify the frequencies so now we are going to select marker over here now using this knob we are going to vary the marker so basically we will see the center frequency first so center frequency is 462 it's showing approximately now we are going to see frequency we are going to set it to the lower sideband lsb this is the LSB. Uh, LSB is equal to FC minus FM. The modulating frequency we are used here is 10 kilohertz. So FC minus FM that is 462 minus 10 will give 452, which we are getting over here 452 kilohertz. Similarly, for USB, this is the USB, we will get FC plus FM, which is 462 plus 10, 472, approximately 472 kilohertz. Hence we have verified the spectrum, AM spectrum using spectrum analyzer. Now we are going to see detection of AM wave using the same kit. Now here we have successfully generated the AM wave by giving the modulating signal and the carrier signal to the balance modulator and at the output we will get a, we are going to get a amplitude modulated wave. So now this amplitude modulated wave we are going to detect using diode detector circuit. So I have applied the output of balance modulator to the diode detector circuit and we are going to see or observe the output of diode detector on the DSO. So at the output of diode detector, we will get the original modulating signal that is the sine wave. This is the original modulating signal that we have detected 